As long as you think as a slave and as someone who is judged by doing, and you only think about doing, you will miss receiving from Father's house. Because you will judge yourself unworthy if you have not done enough to justify your vision of what is required to receive. You've missed the entire point. Entire. The enemy is the accuser of the brother, and he will box you in a corner of condemnation over and over and over again that you can never get out of until you know who you are and what Jesus did for you. You tell him to shut up. I am the prince. I'm, actually, I'm the son of God. I, you know, God has called me righteous. You got something about that, you go talk to him about it. <laughs> got to think different. Can't dream up new places and new things with your nose to the grindstone being already overwhelmed. You got to think different. Who are you? You can't be a slave to provision. You can't be a slave in the earth curse system you got to start asking questions. How did the fish show up? How did those deer show up? How did this happen? How did Jesus feed those multitudes? How did this, you know. He didn't tap into the labor system, the provision system, the earth curse, to get those miracles done. He heard from God. The fish are there in the deep water. He talked about that. All right, so illustration I use in my conferences is that if I was walking down your street, and you've heard this many times before probably, but if you haven't, this is an interesting analogy. And I'm walking down your street. There's a brown paper bag in the ditch on the other side of the road of your property. And I pick it up. There's $5 million in it. You're the only person I know on the street, so I borrow your phone. You remember the church? Hey, so-and-so, I found this $5 million, and I use your phone. I'm going to call the sheriff. I call the sheriff. They say no one's, no one's claimed it missing. You can keep it. Now, that wouldn't happen that way. But for illustrative purposes, let's just say it could. I'm really happy. How about you? I'm in your house and your kitchen on the phone. How are you feeling about it? Don't lie to me about this. <laughs> You're not feeling good about it at all. Because it makes you feel bad about yourself. Right? Right? It makes you feel bad about yourself, like you're a loser, like you're not measuring up, you don't have the $5 million. And then the only option then is to become indignant and jealous because you found it close to my house. How dare you? It's not, that's not fair. Because you've been trained to equate what should happen based on labor. If I came in here and I was exhausted and I said, Drenda and I worked 18 hours a day for the last five years, we finally paid our house off last night, you'd all clap. It's, oh, that's awesome. You know why? Because someone beat the system. And you think, well, if we just work hard enough, they did it, we can do it. That is not how the kingdom operates. You have learned that in the earth curse system and you don't even realize, I don't even realize how we have been trapped in our thinking to these ways of thinking. We have been trained that way. And you're going to have to retrain yourself to capture the opportunities God has for you. You're not a hireling. You're not a hireling. You're a son and daughter of God, the God that made all things. Who are you? Acts, the second chapter, verse 32. God raised this Jesus to life, and we are all witnesses of it, exalted to the right hand of God. He has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and has poured out what you now see and hear. This is the day of Pentecost. For David did not ascend to heaven, but yet he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6 says, And God has raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Where are we seated at? Where? You're not standing. You're seated. You're ruling. You're seated on the right hand of the Father. You are royalty. You, you get this. You got to know who you are in the kingdom. The Bible says, whatever you bind on earth shall be loose, uh, bound by heaven, and what you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You carry the kingdom's authority. You're seated on the right hand of the Father. But in the earth realm, everyone's tired of running. Everyone has been raised with an orphan mentality. So we got to talk about that. There is an escape, though, from this running and sweating mentality. It's 
Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no sorrow with it. The Hebrew word for sorrow means hard labor. This is, of course, referring back to Genesis chapter 3. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth. What is the blessing? We talked about this in our latest series called The Grain Pile Principle. I would get that and review that, but basically the blessing of the Lord are the promises God has given you. Think about this. If the God that made everything you see and made yourself and invented life gave you 7,000 promises directly to you and he cannot lie, I think you would call that a blessing. The blessing of the Lord. Matthew chapter eleven twenty eight. 28, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I'll give you rest. Now this is the rest we're talking about in this series. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for my gentle and I'm humble in heart and you'll find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You know, of course, two oxen and a yoke. He says, take my yoke upon you. Jesus is going to pull it. Come in behind him. He can handle it. It's easy. All right. Got to learn how this works. More of the power of rest after this. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.